Hey everybody, it's me, and I was recently asked about favorite menus and how we can create a custom favorite menu. I just wanted to showcase one solution here. So as you may or may not know, um, if you have a favorite button on a details menu, so if I choose the favorite, I can mark this as favorite, or if on the inline list itself, I mark the button of favorite, then this uh, favorite contextual menu appears at the top, where then I can switch between my favorites and all. Um, so that's built into Glide, and that works pretty nicely. But I often get asked, how can we create a custom version of this? And specifically, this user asked me is, what if I have two different inline lists that come from two different sheets but I want my toggling between all and favorites to affect both lists. So as you see here, I have an inline list of fruits. I have an inline list of vegetables. But when I toggle between all and favorites, I want to see the favorites of both lists on one fell swoop, like so. So here's how you can create that. So the setup is I have a user profile sheet and I have already enabled user profiles. And then I have two different sheets here. I have one called fruits and one called vegetables. And you see that this is favorite column appears here because I placed that favorite button on the details screen uh, or because the details, uh, or sorry, the inline list tiles here has that favorite button. And that automatically places this is favorite column on those uh, in these tables here. All right. So then what I did in the user sheet is I created a user specific column here called favorites menu. I didn't need to be a user specific column, but I want it to be instant. Um, I could have left this, uh, this is I'm using a glide table anyway. It's kind of overkill, but if you're using Google sheets, you'll want this to be user specific column because you don't want to wait for that value to hit the spreadsheet before it comes back to your app. You want kind of those things to be instant. So you can use your user specific column, and then it'll never hit the spreadsheet. It only retains or resides within the app. Um, it's just a text menu, and it's going to be, uh, have a, a value of either all or favorites that comes from this choice component at the top. This choice component is pulling values from this column here called favorites menu that I placed inside of a table called choices. So pretty easy setup created a table called choices, created one column, it's a text column, and placed all or favorites here. And then on my screen, uh, this screen is actually the user sheet here. I wiped it of all of the components, and then I placed a choice component at the top. This choice component is coming from the choices, or it's pointing to the choices sheet, and I'm grabbing those favorite items, the all or the favorites, I set it as required, that way I don't get this dash in front here. And then the column I'm writing to is because I'm on the user's sheet here as part of the screen, um, I'm writing to this user-specific favorites menu. So when I select all, you see that it says all. And when I select favorites, you see that it says favorites. So it's either all or favorites. All right. So then after creating that logic, so we have this user specific column already, and then on, and we have the choice fine, and then on uh, the fruits and vegetable sheets here, we already have this is favorite column that appears. And so all we have to do is create a singular if then else column in each of the uh, tables um, in which we're gonna create an inline list for on our user screen. So I have two inline lists, one of fruits, and one of vegetables. So in each of these screens, um, or each of these sheets, I need to create an if then else column. And I just called mine if faves selection. And the logic behind this is if the user favorites menu, again, it's going to contain the values either all or favorites. So if that value contains all, oops, if favorites menu is all, then I want to see all of those items. So I'm going to result in true. And so because of that, you see that right now it is all. And so it's all true.
However, if I want to see just my favorites, then I don't want all of these to be true. I just want these ones to be true. And luckily, we already have that as part of the is favorite column. So if user favorites menu is all then true, otherwise, I'm just going to grab the value from is favorited, which you see here. Okay, and I created that same logic here in the vegetable sheet. So uh, when it's all, all of them are true. But if it's favorites, really it could be anything, but if it's favorites, let me see that just these two are true because that's the values here in this is favorite column. Same thing for fruits. Okay, so if you know Glide well enough, you probably know where I'm heading with this. So now we have this column with some true values. And all we want to do here is show the values that are going to be true. Because either I want to see my favorites or I want to see all of them. And we can know that now based upon this column as to whether or not it's true. So the last step here is on this screen, we're going to create our inline lists. You can make them look however you'd like. I use the tile view here. And then on each of these inline lists in the options, I'm filtering them to where that if then else fave selection is true. So when I select all, as you know, all of them are true. So all of them display. But when I choose favorites, then only the ones I marked favorite are going to be true, which are these apple and orange in this case, or peas and zucchini for this vegetables list. Okay, so you see that if I marked all, all of them are there. When I switch to favorites, only the one I marked as favorites are true because that is inherently true. It also means that if I mark this as not a favorite while I'm in the favorites menu, it'll be hidden like so. but it'll still be there when I go to all. And if I mark banana as my favorite and spinach as my favorite, then they will not be part of my favorites list. All right, so pretty simple setup. And again, the magic just occurs with this user specific value in my users sheet. The fact that these inline lists live on a screen that's pointing to my users sheet. And then this if then else that's pointing to um, that's writing a true or a false, or really true or empty. Right? If it's true um, based on this value here. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments below or Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.